<laughs> chills. It gives you literally chills playing in front of the, the home crowd. So this is a question everyone asks to every other player who's coming to Blasters, but I'll still ask. What inspired you to choose Blasters? I know that you have agreed, you know, in the middle of the season to come here. So what was the reason? I know the fans are one reason, but other than that? Yeah, the, the, the main reason for me, you know, I wanted to be somewhere where I felt the, the appreciation and, and, you know, I felt that they actually wanted me, you know. Uh, it was important for me because I know how I am as a player. It's like, for me, it's very important where I feel I, I am somewhere where I belong and, and uh, people want me to be there, you know. And uh, from when I spoke with Caroles and the management, you know, they showed a great interest in me. And that was actually the main reason uh, for me wanting to, to come here, even though I had other, uh, uh, other clubs uh, wanting me to go. So, uh, ever since you joined uh, Kerala Blasters, it has been a good season for you. You are in form, the fans are already in love with you. Uh, so, after joining ISL generally, you spent two years in FC Goa. So, what is like one memorable, uh, you know, like moment in after joining in ISL? You know, there was a lot of ups and downs, uh, but I would want to say, you know, uh, signing here because, not because it's the media or whatever it is, but I, you know, I had such an amazing start, you know, from uh, winning the Golden Boot and, you know, uh, starting really well in the ISL. And uh, for me, it's it's the way I feel inside uh, since I come here. And, you know, I'm just happy, I'm happy uh, to be here. The fans love you, but also the pressure is very high here. Fans have a lot of expectations. We are yet to win a, a silverware. So there is a lot of pressure on your head, too, right? So how do you cope with that? And um, as a team, how is your teammates treating you? How is the, you know, the team culture and everything? I actually learned uh, a lot from, you know, obviously playing for, for many years. You have to stay grounded. The biggest thing that you have to do is be humble because it's easy you know, uh, you score goals. A lot of players fall into the trap of like when they score goals or give assists or do well, that they start to feel themselves and, and, and you know, then your level starts to go down. So you have to stay grounded, keep pushing and, you know, pressure comes with every job. Uh, and to be honest, for me to do well, I like to, to feel the pressure because when you're too relaxed, then you're not going to be able to, to perform at your best. Let's go back to the start of your career. So how did you take up football? To be honest, just in the street, like I never thought, you know, I always had uh, a dream like every other kid to, to play professional, but it, it, it would just started out playing in the streets, you know, in the culture in Morocco. Everyone plays, you, you grow up playing football and, you know, uh, bare feet, you know, with old shoes. And uh, it just started fun, you know, and uh, thank God I had the opportunity and God blessed me with the talent to be able to play football. So, uh Transitioning from FC Goa to Kerala Blasters, the playing style is also quite different. Like uh, in FC Goa, you have the position based football or tiki tiki taka. But here, I think uh, Stahre is into a little bit of uh, direct football. He's, in, he's into direct football, I think. So, how did you, uh, you know, like adapt? I mean, my first year in FC Goa was, yeah, we, we, we tried to play from the back, but I feel like last season was different. Uh, we were a bit more direct. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, I, I think I've said it before, like, uh, I like counter, fo uh, counter uh, football, you know, and it, it suits my game, you know, obviously I'm, I, I am fast, uh, I know uh, how to um, exploit uh, space, so it works out for me to, to play the way that we play uh, right now, which is more direct football, into the space, you know, um, and, it's, it's, and it's good for me. So since you spent, uh, this is your third season in India, right? So the football is definitely developing, but the national team is still not there yet. So what is your opinion on that? Like, what is it that we are lacking? Uh, I can't really put my finger on it because obviously I'm not I'm not with the with the, with the team uh, with the national team. But I I I have a positive mindset that that the Indian football will grow, the national team will grow. I mean, just from the league. When the league gets better, the, the national team will get better and there will be more competition and things like that. And I felt just even from the, the years that I've been here, uh, even at training and, and the players, uh, how competitive they, they get every single day and, and, and they're trying to improve 
uh, it's all going to be good for the national team. And hopefully, I, you know, I hope, I really hope that the national team gets better and, and, and starts to, to, to perform. You have scored with your weak foot and also with your strong foot. So the fans have a doubt, like, which is the one actually is your, you know, strong foot, which is your weak foot, because they can't differentiate between it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny because my, you know, obviously I'm, I'm thankful to my dad, but when I was, when I was young and I was like, uh, when I moved to America when I was 10, he would make me do every single exercise that I did with my right with my left, every single. And then even if you see like the Northeast game, it was like so natural for me to, to get the ball with my left and could keep the whole play with my left. Uh, I think it's just from practicing a lot, but it, definitely my right foot, I would say. But I feel I have more power with my, with my left when I shoot. When you enter the field, it's like you are a burst of energy or like happiness. I have heard people saying that, you know, like when you, when Noah enters the pitch, it's like a burst of energy and it also brings us joy. So I think your explosiveness is one of your most important aspects. How do you maintain it? Like, you know, uh, we have a lot of games, so it could like the, you know, um, fatigue and everything could be there. Right? So what do you do? Like, uh, how is the training regimen? and? diet and stuff. Uh, also as you get older you, you start to know you you start to have an understanding more of your body uh, you know obviously before even I come here I was I was uh, at the gym so I try to to maintain my, uh, my strength and also when I have a rest day you know I try to recover sauna pool uh, ice bath you know uh, eating well sleeping well um, that's all very important to to being able to perform on the field it's, it's not just uh, putting yourself on the field and just go ahead and perform is all the things that you do before the game. Okay, uh, now let's uh, you know get done with the serious stuff and let's go into like, like a little bit more fun part of the interview. Uh, so uh, your uh, your celebration, you know, your hands covering there, it's quite famous already in Kerala. What is the reason behind that celebration? I want to hear you. I want to hear them loud. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I was thinking that could be inspired from the celebration Messi did against, uh, I think, Netherlands. I don't remember. I'm not a fan. Uh, I, I, Messi is an amazing player. Yeah. You, you'll be crazy to not say that, but I'm not. I'm a Ronaldo fan. Oh, so, that's nice. I, I mean, I, it just comes natural for me to do it. So, I just, I mean, there was other players that do it, but Messi obviously is, is, is an amazing player. Uh, so... But it's not for Messi, no. Can you uh, do it for us? Just for us. <laughs> so, do you have any superstitions? Let's say some of the players have this, uh, you know, pre-game rituals they do. Like, I have heard that one coach will, uh, like, Ivan Coach used to wear only the white shirt, right? It was a superstition among the fans also. Like, he should wear the white shirt or we are going to lose. Do you have any as such? Yeah, of I, I think most players, most players have uh, something like that, but... Uh, I try to stay in the same routine. You know, if I sleep at a certain time, I like to to, to, to make sure, like on the dot, that I'm, you know, falling asleep at that time. Uh, if I eat certain thing, uh, for example, I always have uh, pasta with no sauce and just garlic, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of chili flakes. But it's just like you know, it worked. It worked for me, so I I always try to do the same thing over and over and over. Maybe the shoes as well. Uh, if I feel like I'm having a, a few games, like I'm doing well, then I'll probably wear the same shoe again. Uh, let's talk about music. What's the top song on your playlist now? Uh, Kamas by Ira Star. It's a Nigerian song. Okay. So if you had to pick one song that you will listen, uh, you know, to get pumped up and everything before the game, which one could it be? Kamas, Ira Star. Which of your teammates have the best or worst celebration? Uh, Best celebration, to be honest, it's still early on the season, so I haven't seen all. Yeah. I would want to be asked that in the end of the season. Uh, Milo's celebration is with the head. <laughs> okay, let's go to a small rapid fire. You can reply in one word or two, uh, and then we can finish. Okay. So, one word to describe playing at Kerala Blasters. One word? Yeah, one. Oh, you can, if you want to talk about it in length, that is also fine. Chills. It gives you literally chills playing in front of the, the home crowd. You know, especially like, especially second half, I like to be on their, on their side of the, of the field because you feel it more, especially when I get the ball. So, it's just like an indescribable feeling because one... 
when the fans are the fans are behind you, you 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 feel you have like this this how you said I have bring energy, but it, it comes from the fans. You know, when you feel them, they're backing you. It it gives you this. You feel like you have like this superpower. Uh, so one thing, Noah said, do you enjoy outside football that fans might not know about? It depends. It depends. If it's you know, uh, obviously with uh, in season, you can't really do like athletic stuff. But I enjoy basketball, uh, arcade. Like for example, yesterday I went with the kids uh, to play, so I enjoy that a lot. One food you can't live without? Steak. Most competitive uh, teammate during training? All the defenders, because they all want to kill me in training. 